Well, you stop that, you're gonna break a window. It won't break, it's double paint. Stop that. You're afraid you're gonna get sucked out. I'm not afraid you're gonna get sucked out? Yes, you are. You're afraid you're gonna get sucked out. No, I'm not. Just stop. What the heck is the matter with you? When are you gonna stop acting like a child and grow up? I am a child. Grow up. Hi! Do you ever feel like flying is already stressful enough without wondering if these complex aircraft systems are safe and kid proof? Ever wanted to learn more about onboard oxygen systems without an emergency teaching you real quick? Hi, I'm Jeff Kelly and today we're talking about oxygen systems. We normally inhale a mixture of gases, about 78% nitrogen, 20% oxygen, and the remainder is CO2, hydrogen, helium, and various other gases. All of these gases are under pressure at sea level, about 14.7 PSI, on any given day. With pressure comes density, and therefore we can intake a sufficient amount of oxygen as we breathe in. Now let's rise in altitude to say mm, 25,000 feet. At this altitude, the air is less dense and under a lot less pressure. Below 7,000 feet, most people have full oxygen saturation in their blood. The higher you get, the more this number drops. At around 25,000 feet, it rests at about 50% blood oxygen saturation. You can measure your oxygen levels with a cool gadget called a pulse type oximeter, found here. This is where oxygen systems masks, tanks, and regulators come into play on aircraft. The higher up you fly, the greater need for supplemental oxygen. Airplane oxygen systems usually include cockpit oxygen, passenger oxygen, and portable oxygen bottles. Oxygen systems are utilized anytime there is cabin depressurization, smoke, fumes, or if a passenger needs first aid. Portable oxygen bottles are often used in case of medical emergencies or when flight attendants need to move about a depressurized cabin. As far as regulating oxygen to your lungs, there are a few ways this can be done. Continuous flow systems are well, continuous. Once the valve is opened, the flow of oxygen does not stop unless physically turned off. These can be wasteful since oxygen that exits the mask is not being used on exhale or when not breathing. Demand flow systems fix this issue. These systems only start the flow of oxygen from the regulator to the mask when inhaling and cuts off the flow when exhaling. Diluter demand systems are just like demand flow systems, but in this mode, the oxygen regulator dilutes the 100% O2 with outside air to give just the right amount of oxygen without wasting this precious resource. And then there is pressure demand systems. These are just demand flow systems on steroids. When a lot of oxygen is needed on demand in an intense or stressful environment, a regulator will force high pressure air into the lungs to ensure blood oxygen levels remain at a safe level. Ever see a fighter pilot movie and the pilots keep taking off their masks when out of breath or when they want to talk to their wingman? Yeah, the mic is in the mask. I can't hear anything you're saying. There are two types of oxygen delivery systems commonly found on a typical commercial aircraft such as our CRJ200. Gaseous oxygen systems and chemical oxygen generators. Gaseous oxygen systems hold or contain oxygen in a pressurized cylinder. This oxygen under pressure is then routed to a regulator and then a mask for breathing. Chemical oxygen systems are commonly found in the passenger cabin above your head. These systems use a neat chemistry trick to deliver pure oxygen to passengers in the rare case that it's needed. Chemical oxygen systems burn sodium chloride crystals. The byproduct from ignition of sodium chloride crystals forms pure oxygen. What activates oxygen mass to drop normally? Well, what usually causes oxygen mass to drop is a drop in cabin pressurization. So on the CRJ, the system operates automatically when the cabin altitude exceeds 14,000 feet, or it can be selected manually. In the event of a drop in cabin pressurization, 
oxygen masks will deploy in the cabin. A warning light would go off in the cockpit and pilots would immediately don their oxygen masks for safety. If you only knew the power of the dark side. As soon as the pilots don their oxygen masks, they've got to dip their nose quickly. Get down. To descend to a safe altitude that everyone can breathe. They have to do it very quickly because there's about 10 minutes of oxygen left in these chemical oxygen generators for the passengers. As an aircraft mechanic, it is our responsibility to ensure that the plane pressurizes correctly, stays pressurized, and that the oxygen masks function properly and are clean. Also, both oxygen systems and cabin pressurization systems should be checked regularly for leaks to ensure a safe and relaxing flight for both passengers and crew. One way to tell that there is a leak is by applying a leak detect solution, sometimes a mild soapy water, onto fittings, lines, seals, valves, and watching for bubbles. Maintaining a clean environment in and around oxygen systems is very important since pure oxygen can bind rapidly to petroleum-based products to cause a fire. So this is a gaseous oxygen system trainer. We use it in our maintenance school to teach students on how to properly service, perform maintenance, and check out system operation. It consists of a shutoff valve for your main bottle, which would be your oxygen cylinder, your pressure gauge, your pressure regulator, and a blinker to show oxygen flow on a demand style regulator. We have the oxygen mask below with bayonet style lugs so that you can test the flow of oxygen once it's turned on. Up above is a chemical oxygen generator, much like what is used above your head in the cabin. Ever heard the flight attendant say, pull sharply down on your oxygen mask to start the flow of oxygen? As soon as you pull the mask down, it pulls a retaining pin out of a spring-loaded firing pin, which then strikes a primer inside of the chemical oxygen generator. That primer, once struck, ignites the sodium chloride crystals, which then starts the flow of 100% oxygen to your mask. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out our other aircraft maintenance-related videos. See you next time.